to my channel. I was actually, um, hold on. Okay, so I was actually about to just do my makeup for the day. The face, the lips are already moisturized. Um, I use a lip oil that I put pretty much put on my lips um, all the time when I'm at home. And then I've already moisturized my skin. I'll pop up what I use to moisturize my face. And now I'm gonna go in with a sunscreen. This is the summer. And so we do know that we want to definitely add that, that sunscreen on our face prior to our makeup application. But yeah, how are you guys? You guys doing okay? So I know in my previous um, video with makeup and getting ready with me or whatnot to show y'all my makeup routine, I didn't really talk as much. So hopefully I can do this because talking and doing your makeup, I feel like that, that is like a skill. So girl, I need some more sunscreen for my forehead. Shout out to the girls with the big foreheads. Yeah, we cute. I don't wanna hear it. Anywho. Yeah, so how are you guys been doing? Hope everybody's cool. Staying hydrated. It's not even summer yet and it's getting so hot. And so I'm excited about that. Um, so I just moisturized my face. I put on sunscreen. And so next I'm gonna go in with my, um, with my foundation. I am pretty simple when it comes to my foundation for the most part. And I don't like to really use any other foundation until my current foundation's used up. And I don't wanna show this bottle because it's like disgusting, but it's the CoverGirl True Blend Matte Made. I'll pop it up over here. Uh, my color is D10. CoverGirl has definitely um, enhanced their formula over the years. Um, I've always liked CoverGirl products, especially their mascara and um, their mascara and their some of their eyeliners are really really good. And then of course I have a beauty blender, and then I have the CoverGirl um, Clean Fresh Prep and Set Water Mist. This is, how I, this is how I wet my beauty blender. Some girls use regular water. Um, I guess I could too. I just like the mist a little better to go on my skin. Um, but yeah, so going on with me, I've just been working and you know, doing the adulting type stuff. Um, I don't know, what do you guys want to talk about? I guess you can't answer, can you? But yeah, I wanted to come on, for the most part, and basically just pretty much talk to you guys about what's been going on. And like I said before, like, I didn't want, need a little bit more. I didn't want to have this like channel and it feel like a lot, but like, I haven't been posting at all. <laughs> so I know this is not like a job, but I probably need to post at least once a month. I feel like I haven't posted like since like four or five months ago. And I might be exaggerating, but yeah. So um, you can always build this up to your liking. Sometimes I like to build it up a little more. But I do have a video idea that I'm thinking about. And I have gotten into like, you know, dressing up my cell phone with different cases. And so 
I found a whole bunch of cell phones for like, I want to say under $30, like a lot of cell phone cases. So I may haul that in the next video to show you ladies, to uh, show you ladies where to go and how much I spent to like get that to get that this is hard this is hard to talk and like do makeup at the same time but we're gonna continue on next um i have my uh, maybelline mascara in the summer months i do like lashes but at the same time i find myself um navigating more towards mascara um my two favorite ones now has been like a combination of um, first this one, I just said it, and where's the other one? And e.l.f. E.l.f. has a Lash Beats, like the Fining the Lengthening uh, Mascara. And so I've been just combining these, this for the fullness, and then this for um, the length, because that's how my lashes work, because like naturally my lashes are pretty long, but I feel like to get the effect that I want, I have to still combine it. Is anybody else the same way? Yeah, I know that I've been um, asked to do more hauls. So, yeah. Um, I think that for my channel, I'm going to be doing more collective hauls because I find myself not shopping as much as I'm used to. I, I still love to shop. Like, I still love to shop, but I, I find myself not shopping as much. A collective haul is basically over a period of time, the different pieces that you buy or the different, um, like, one-off purchases you collect. This is looking a little orange. I may have a brain. We're going to fix it with our powder. Um, but... Um, what was I saying? Yeah, so, um, yeah, collective haul. With the collective haul, um, it's just different one-off pieces or purchases that you buy over a period of time. And then you just show the world or show your followers more so, or subscribers, what you bought. And um, that's more so what I am, what I'm thinking about gravitating towards, unless I'm doing something like a Target run or something. Yeah, I think that's, I think that's what I'll do. And then that way it gives you guys an idea of like what to purchase for your closet for the season. But remember when I talked to you guys about, um, about like implementing different like spiritual like leaders and like different type of like spiritual like podcasts just to help you on your walk I have been really being consistent with like Heather Lindsay's podcast if you don't know their podcast I'll pop it up somewhere but it's a really really good podcast to to listen to and possibly because I put it on when I'm in the car so every time I'm in the car it's just convenient for me so yeah I have been um girl that's a lot of mascara do you say mascara or mascara I like mascara better. I'm unsure of the correct way. Maybe I could look that up, but yeah. Under my eyes, um, I haven't been using concealer per se. I've been using like a lighter foundation because I bought this foundation by mistake. And when I bought it by mistake, I mean, I don't like returning drugstore foundations. Um... I feel like I'll feel better if it's more of a higher end like foundation to return it. But the drugstore foundations, I typically will, like find somebody to give it to, or I'll use it as a concealer 
so this was way too light for my complexion and maybe that's an idea for like you guys too um if you buy a foundation by mistake and you just don't like returning your foundation um and it's too light you can possibly use it for another purpose but i got the infallible pro matte foundation and i was so mad because it's pro matte and i really wanted to try it and i thought that this foundation would work for me but it actually ended up working better um under my eyes so And then what I've learned recently is that it's okay to give yourself grace. Like, we shouldn't be so hard on ourselves. I need to constantly tell myself that. Like, like it's okay. Like, it's okay to not have it all together. Like, okay, I haven't uploaded a video. Okay, I haven't created content. Girl, you better give yourself grace or you ain't gonna never do it. You're not gonna ever, never, ever do it. So, yeah, it's, it's, it's okay. And I, but I had to learn that. I had to learn that because I would get so sad. And then while I'm sad, I'm still not creating content. Still not doing it. So, yeah. We're going to do better. We're going to be more consistent. That was on the dream board, consistency. Some of my other areas that I want to be consistent on, that was a little private. Um, I have been consistent on that, so I am very proud of myself for that. Um, you will quickly learn that some things I am very private about, others I'm open about. Someone asked me about my robe and where I got it from. First and foremost, in the last like makeup, like tutorial or whatever, there was like a little stain right here on my robe. Girl, that was toothpaste. That was toothpaste. It wasn't, I'm not dirty, I promise. But that was just toothpaste. But my robe, I got it from Victoria's Secret um, and they send my annual sale. And so it was super cheap. Don't remember how much it cost. I just knew that I got it got it for a really good discount yeah so how do we get there oh and i forgot that i i'm gonna let this sit a little bit and i forgot to add my brow gel i got it from juvia's place i have the color clear so we're gonna lay this right on top of the brows it's summer, we need to keep our brows intact. Oh, and in case you're wondering, my hair, um, <laughs> I had it tied up. And then if you can see, I have like these like wraps. Um, sorry about my nails, I need to get them done. But um, I had these wraps like up here and like I had it tied with like a silk scarf on top. And the wraps like slid up gradually throughout the night. So I have like this long break. You'll see it at the end. Under my eyes, I, I'm setting with Cover Fix Translucent. It's a matte setting powder. Um, as you can see, everything's pretty much matte because it is the summer. I, I typically use an angle brush. Some people like to use their beauty blender. But I feel like I use my beauty blender for a lot already. So I'm not going to use it for my under eye powder too. I mean, to each his own. But I'm going to put that under there. I know in my previous video, I used the fan to set, to set my foundation. You can do that if you're in a rush. I'm not in a rush this morning. Next, I'm going to add like a slight blush. Um, 
on my cheeks. Now with this particular blush, I feel like it's more of a highlighter for me. Um, it is um, NARS, um, what is it, Taj Mahal? Yeah, it's NARS, it's Taj Mahal. And it's so, it's so pretty. And it shows up best at the high points of my cheek. So, so typically I just put it right up here. Yeah, my brain is up. This powder is a little too dark, but I don't go crazy with it. So it works. Um, it's the NW45 uh, powder with matte. See, when she showed it to me at, at the counter, it looks so much lighter. See, don't they look like that a match? I mean, obviously, you know, but like, because typically I get a little darker. So in the summer, so I was like, well, yeah, I mean, it typically, anyway. So I would put this on first and it, since it's so, so dark, I put it around my parameters. Don't forget about your neck, ladies. For many years, I did. Not a good look. So, um, yeah. So, we're pretty much done for the most part with the face. Next, I'm going to add my lip pencil or my lippy. And I like to wipe my lips off first because I put a lip oil on it prior. I just don't like doing my makeup with dry lips. Comment below if you feel the same. But yeah. She has lipstick on her teeth. Tell her. Don't have her going out here thinking she cute and fly and she got lipstick on her teeth. Don't do that to her. Don't do that to her. Because I would want somebody to always tell me. Even though sometimes like I used to hate it because like it's a mood crusher. It is a mood crusher for sure. Because you cute, you thinking you cute. And this, this hand movement, I talk with my hands. You guys know that already. But you think you cute and you got lipstick on your teeth, sis. And I'm a perfectionist. Sometimes I like to spray my lipstick because um, it gets dry. And sometimes um, with the matte, this is a matte, yep. That's how I knew. With this, these matte type lipsticks, it just doesn't glide on as great. And so I like to spray it first. Anywho, girl, you think you're cute and you got lipstick on your teeth. So it is a mood pressure. Oh, I didn't tell you about this. This is Anastasia uh, Color and Rage. It's a beautiful like. <laughs> So I thought about getting braces and I'm considering Invisalign. Depending on how my dentist appointment is gonna go. Um, because I have this overbite and I have this tooth, tooth, two teeth at the bottom that's like growing crooked a little bit like I can see it bulging out and then I've always had this overbite so this is the time to kind of get it together and so I um wondering if you guys want to see that I think I'm going to show it anyway because I just want to and yeah so look out for those videos 
Um, I haven't yet decided if I'm going to do braces or Invisalign. I'm kind of leaning more towards Invisalign now because I don't feel like my teeth are, are that bad where I would need braces. Um, because there isn't any major work. Well, what do I know? I'm not a dentist. I'm going to actually talk to the dentist and then see what... Um, see what the consultation actually says about my teeth um because if i can get it done in a couple of trays and not have to go through the whole braces ordeal then that'd be that'd be great that is it for the makeup um if you like videos like this where i sit down and i casually talk to you uh, thumbs up and also, don't forget to uh, like, comment, and subscribe. Let me wash my hands. Oh, that's so. I know I just put on my lippy, but thirsty. Girl, I'm thirsty. Now I gotta reapply my lip. Hold on. so much for stopping by to chat with me um, when I do these videos you can always like do your makeup as well um, and we can kind of like talk too if that's what you like to do okay so that is my um, little chit chat get ready with me don't forget to rate comment and subscribe and thank you for stopping by and we're going to do better with these posting and move forward better. I most likely will show you my outfit of the day, but until then, I'll see you guys next time. Bye.